Grade 5 Math, number 10.1. We're converting units of measure in this chapter. This is customary length. We can compare and convert customary units of length. Customary units are the standard measurements used in the United States, but most countries use metric units. Here is a chart showing customary units of length. One foot is 12 inches, one yard is 3 feet, one mile is 5,280 feet, and a mile is also 1,760 yards. Because see, a yard is 3 feet. You can see the abbreviations we can use, FT for foot, IN for inches, YD for yard, MI for mile. And do you notice that foot became feet when there was more than one? Yeah, the plural is feet. So, Emma needs a piece of countertop from the home improvement store to replace her old worn-out countertop. She used her sewing tape measure that only had measures in inches. The old countertop measured 48 inches. At the store, all the countertops were in foot sections. She could get a 2-foot length, 3-foot, 4-foot, 6-foot, or 8-foot section. Now, notice that this doesn't say feet. It's because they were sections. It was a 2-foot section, okay? So Emma needs to convert the 48 inches to feet to buy the correct size. She knows that 12 inches is 1 foot, so she took the 48 inch measurement she had and divided it by the 12 inches in each foot and came up with 4 feet. By dividing, she found the correct size. See? So you can divide the units to convert them. See? So she bought a four-foot section, which is 48 inches. Tala needs two yards of fabric to make pillows for her sofa. At the fabric store, she found a bin of sale fabric of five-foot pieces. Can she buy this and have enough fabric? Well, three feet is one yard, six feet is two yards. If they're in five-foot sections, that's not enough to be two yards. So no, five feet isn't enough. We converted it by multiplying. And we can also see if we put units next to each other, like yards and feet, as models, we can see the difference very clearly that five feet is not enough to be two yards. We can multiply and add to convert measures. If we had six yards and one foot and wanted to convert it all into feet, we know that one yard is three feet, so we can multiply the six yards times three and get 18. We add the extra foot, the 1, and get 19 feet. See? That's a mixed measure when you've got yards and feet or miles and yards or feet and inches. That's called a mixed measure, okay? If you had 81 inches and you wanted to put it in feet and inches, you could do 81 divided by 12 because there's 12 inches and a foot. You could guess and check the 81 divided by 12 and say, well, 12 times 7 is 84. So now we're using multiplication to divide, see? 12 times 7 is 84, that's too much. So 12 times 6 is 72, so there's 6 feet, but what's left over because of the 72? Then we do subtraction. 81 minus the 72 leaves 9 inches, so we know it's 6 feet 9 inches for 81 inches. We used a lot of math, different math there, didn't we? All right. Bob has a pedometer that counts how far he walks each day. Yesterday, he walked 5,636 feet. What was the distance in miles, yards, and feet? A mixed measure. Well, one mile is 5,280 feet, so we subtracted his amount, the mile amount, from his amount because he walked more than a mile. See, a mile is 5,200. He walked 5,600. So we subtracted the amount of feet in a mile from the distance he walked, and we still had 356 feet left over. We can change this to yards and feet. If there's three feet in a yard, we see how many threes can fit into 356. We did long division and found out that there was 118 and two-thirds yards. So now we know it's one mile and 118 yards, but the two-thirds yard is two feet because there's three feet in a yard. If that's one yard and there's three feet 
in a yard, then two-thirds of a yard would be two feet. See? Because you're splitting the yard into threes. So we know he walked one mile, 118 yards, and two feet. So we can add, subtract, multiply, or divide to convert units of measure. There you go. Converting units of customary length. I'll see you next video. Bye.